when it comes to building value for your customers, it becomes less about what we tell them and more about what they tell us. There is no magic pill. There is no magic formula to tell a client something that will convince them to say yes. I had a couple of gentlemen come in here, engineering types, and they said, Kim, we are 99% there. We have talked with the client about everything. We just need you to come in and take care of that last 1%. That last 1% for them was the close. And I don't know about you, but I think the entire sale is probably a lot more than 1%. All of the revenue or none of the revenue is probably a lot more than that last 1%. And so this really became a good question about what do you know about your client? What have you asked them? What have you discovered with them? They had spent so much time thinking that they were going to tell their client something that was going to be like, oh, that was the missing puzzle to the whole piece. I'm so glad you said that one sentence because that was it. That was enough to convince me to move forward on that. That's not the case. That's not how sales works. Sales works by asking people questions. And the more powerful the questions we ask, the better we are at succeeding, at achieving more value for our client, and ultimately getting the deal. Sometimes we need to slow down in order to speed up. Sometimes that means taking on one or two extra client meetings and asking even deeper questions, really grasping the understanding. Do I understand you correctly? Paraphrasing with the client in order to know that we are on the right path. If you want to really create value for your clients, if you want to not just get that last 1%, but the last 100%, you need to understand where your clients are and ask those really valuable questions. Why is this important to you? What would you achieve when we do this for you? Where would you like to be six months or a year in the future? How would that make you feel? And when we accomplish this, how will you determine that we did this correctly, appropriately, significantly? At the end of the day, this has nothing to do with what we tell the client, but rather what we ask them. So work on those powerful questions. And if you need help, if you're strugg struggling with trying to figure out what are those perfect questions I'm going to ask my client, not what is the perfect thing I'm going to tell them, then connect with us here at KO Advantage Group. We want to hear from you. We want to help make you more successful and help you develop the sales skills you need to close that deal even faster. We're here to help you sell more faster. Mm -hmm.